Drones and robotics aren't just changing battlefields or delivery, they're shaping the future of defense investing. Today, we're looking at six overlooked drone defense penny stocks trading under $5 that could have significant upside. Here's the scoop. One of these just secured new U.S. Air Force orders, another is advancing on a $500 million plus Army project, and the third is landing NASA contracts while developing commercial satellite deals. But this isn't a random penny stock lottery. Every pick on this list meets strict filters. Recent revenue growth or improving earnings, manageable debt levels, government contracts or prime partnerships, active R&D and drones, or next-generation defense technology, and sufficient trading volume to avoid liquidity traps. Of course, penny stocks are high risk, high reward. They can soar on contract wins, but they can also crash on funding delays. That's why in this video, I'll break down the fundamentals, growth potential, and risk profile of each name so you know exactly what you're looking at. So, if you're ready to spot early stage opportunities in one of the fastest growing corners of the defense market, hit that like button, share this with fellow investors, and subscribe. Thank you. Let's start with CPI Aero Structures, ticker CVU. This little-known New York manufacturer produces critical aircraft structures, including fuselages, wing assemblies, and kits for U.S. Air Force jets. In 2025, CPI quietly secured new orders for T-38 trainer aircraft modification kits, increasing its backlog to a record $506 million. For a company with a market cap of just about $30 million, that backlog is significant providing years of visibility into future revenue. Financially, CPI appears to be a value investor's dream. A price-to-sales ratio of less than half a turn and a debt-to-equity ratio of only 0.55 well within conservative limits. The challenge? Liquidity. Shares rarely trade more than 30,000 to 40,000 shares daily, making it difficult for investors to buy or sell quickly. Still, for those willing to endure thin trading, CPI offers deep value exposure to long-term Air Force programs. Next drone penny stock is Comtech, ticker CMTL, a name that has seen better days but may be in the midst of a quiet turnaround. Comtech specializes in secure satellite communications and tactical networks, the kind of backbone infrastructure modern militaries rely on. Earlier this year, the company received U.S. Army approval tied to a $544 million global field support contract one of several large programs making up its $700 million backlog. That backlog provides stability, while Comtech works on improving its margins. Financially, the picture is mixed. The debt-to-equity ratio is slightly high at around 0.8, but the firm recently completed a capital infusion and debt reduction in March, giving it some breathing room. The big question for investors is execution. If Comtech can convert its backlog into higher margin revenue, the market might re-rate this stock. And with shares trading under $5, it's on the radar of value investors betting on defense communications as a growth avenue. The next penny stock, KOLR Technology Group, isn't building robots. It's making them safer. The company focuses on thermal management and battery safety systems that prevent overheating, extend life, and protect drones, satellites, and EVs from catastrophic failure. In Q2 2025, KULR delivered a 63% revenue increase and its first-ever quarterly profit, with margins exceeding 60%. That's a significant milestone for a company once written off as speculative. Its defense footprint is growing, too. KULR has supplied the U.S. Navy, demonstrated its K-1G battery system for the Pentagon, and delivered subsea batteries to aerospace partners. With modest debt, improving fundamentals, and a market capitalization well under $1 billion, QLR remains a volatile yet disciplined company, a rare mix in penny stock land. For investors betting on the backbone of robotics, QLR looks less like a gadget maker and more like a gatekeeper of energy safety. Moving to another profile of penny stocks, these don't match the criteria for picking the three drone stocks above, but they are also worth your time. So the fourth pick, Accurate Incorporated, has staked its future on a more profound mission, using robotics to fight cancer. Think of it as a sharpshooter for tumors, hitting growths deep inside the body while sparing healthy tissue. The promise? Fewer scars, shorter recoveries, and treatments that can reach cancer surgery can't. Accurate also offers Radixact and tomotherapy systems, which adapt radiation plans daily as a tumor shrinks or a patient's anatomy shifts. 
This ability to evolve with the patient is one of the company's biggest differentiators. Financially, Accury isn't a giant. With a market cap under $250 million and annual revenue around $450 million, it's a small fish swimming in a pond dominated by Siemens Healthy Nears and Varian. The company hasn't achieved consistent profitability. It has slim margins, periodic losses, and a substantial debt load, which remain hurdles. Shares trade between $1 and $2, firmly in penny stock territory. But here's where the opportunity lies. Accure sits at the intersection of two megatrends the rise of medical robotics, and the global fight against cancer. Investors have seen what's possible. Intuitive Surgical has built a $100 billion empire on robotic surgery. Accuray's robotics are different from radiation. They are not a scalpel, but the parallels are clear. If hospitals adopt its systems more widely, service contracts and software upgrades could provide the recurring revenue streams Wall Street craves. Of course, risks remain at the forefront. Larger competitors have deeper pockets, profitability is elusive, and persuading hospitals to invest millions in new systems is never easy. For believers, Accury's low valuation appears to be an opportunity. For skeptics, it highlights the challenges of scaling a capital-intensive medical technology business. The real question isn't whether cancer care will need robotics, which has already been answered. It's whether Accury can become the company that delivers it at scale. And that answer will decide whether this overlooked stock stays in the shadows or finally earns its place in the spotlight. Next is RichTech Robotics, ticker RR. I covered this stock a few weeks ago when it was trading at around $1. RichTech Robotics focuses primarily on local industries, such as restaurants, hotels, and hospitals. Walk into certain dining rooms across America, and you may already find Matridi, RichTech's robot waiter, gliding between tables with trays of food. In trendy cafes, Adam, a dual-armed robot, pours cocktails or stirs bubble tea with precision flair. In hospitals, MedBot roams the hallways carrying medication or lab samples. In garages and showrooms, Titan shoulders the heavy lifting of moving parts. And in hotels, robots like Skylark and Scorpion take over the chores of cleaning and delivery. The pitch is simple. Industries from hospitality to healthcare are struggling with labor shortages, and RichTech's robots quietly step in to handle repetitive, physically demanding tasks. Instead of replacing humans, the company argues it's freeing workers to focus on higher-value roles. For investors, the real innovation isn't just the hardware, it's the business model. This company is pushing robots as a service. Instead of asking a restaurant to spend hundreds of thousands up front, it offers robots on leases or subscriptions. That means predictable, recurring revenue for it business model and manageable operating costs for customers. So why pay attention now? Because if RichTech executes, the addressable market is massive. From restaurants and hotels to hospitals, the global service sector is in desperate need of automation solutions. RichTech already has multiple robots in real-world deployments, proving this isn't just a concept. It's a business trying to scale. The risks? They're substantial. Robotics is notoriously hard to scale. Each deployment needs hardware, maintenance, and integration. Competition is fierce, and dilution from capital raises is likely. Revenue remains tiny compared to the valuation. Any stumble could trigger a pullback. However, if RichTech proves it can expand its robots-as-a-service model, what is now a speculative penny stock could someday become a leader in service automation. For now, it remains a high-risk, high-reward gamble, but one that offers investors a front-row seat to the future of work. AXT, Inc., with ticker symbol AXTI. This company manufactures semiconductor substrates, the wafers used in optoelectronics, sensors, and high-performance chips. These substrates are essential for robotic systems that rely on vision, LIDAR, and photonics, the eyes and nerves of modern machines. In other words, AXT doesn't build the robots, but it provides the building blocks. The potential, if demand for robotics and AI accelerates from autonomous drones to factory automation, the need for advanced sensors and photonic devices will soar. AXT, trading under $5 at times with a market cap of less than $500 million, could ride that wave as an indirect but leveraged supplier. The gaps, AXT is not a pure robotics play. It has no government defense backlog or direct AI contracts. Its fortunes depend heavily on broader semiconductor cycles, which can be brutally volatile. Investors also need to scrutinize its revenue growth trajectory and balance sheet. 
Recent quarters have shown fluctuations, and its debt to equity and cash reserves deserve close monitoring. For investors, the opportunity is clear. These companies are small, risky, and volatile, but they are also tethered to massive, long-cycle defense spending programs that could pay off in ways the market hasn't priced in yet. So, the question is, are you comfortable with the risk for a shot at outsized returns? If so, these six defense and robotics stocks may deserve a corner of your speculative portfolio. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, be sure to hit like, share it with fellow investors, and subscribe for more in-depth analyses of high potential opportunities at the crossroads of technology, defense, and space. And leave a comment on which of these six you think has the most upside. I'll feature the best insights in the following video.